let's just have a chat shall we what is up you guys good morning it's arlene it's may 11th 2023 so i'm coming to you with a recap on my final grades and my cumulative gpa and yes I am on SAP warning for the first time since, you know, the TCC days because, you know, um, I'll tell you about the, the story on TCC, like academic probation and stuff a little bit later in this video. So the 2022-2023 school year hasn't been really good. We just came out of the pandemic. Now we're in the endemic stage of the COVID-19 um you know, coronavirus um, pandemic, but now we're in the endemic stage now, so <clears throat> cases are going down, so. And as far as my 2022-2023 school year, it hasn't been really, really, really good. I ended my um, semester, this spring semester, with a 0.419 GPA. And last semester, it was a 1.283. So my cumulative, my cumulative GPA right now is at a 1.747. In order to, um, in order to basically pass the summer semester class, you have to have at least a 2.25 GPA or better, which is that, that's what I'm definitely going to do because I start classes online on the 15th, which is, woo so. I already did fill out the SAP academic plan form and I sent it to my advisor and some in the financial aid um, office earlier this morning. So I am planning to, well, I'm not expected to, I'm getting my online uh, academic advising appointment today at three o'clock because um, I had to push it up to, um, to today at three o'clock instead of tomorrow at three o'clock. So probably two thirty or three o'clock because you know I really need to get this academic plan done and over with so I can start taking my six week classes and I know it's not gonna be easy so um I'm taking three classes this summer semester which is six weeks I start on Monday and then I end on June 23rd I think <laughs> so yeah, so that really gave me a huge wake up call for me just to like, you know, Alini, just this, this is not the time to go to the baseball field. This is not the time to procrastinate. It's about to be your junior year by fall semester. You have to do this or else you're going to be academically dismissed again, like you did at TCC back in 2012. So <clears throat> I'm definitely going to, to achieve um, a grip point average of 2.25 or better. So I'll definitely do that. So let me tell you a story. So yeah, I used to attend Tywater Community College, Chesapeake campus back in, I think it was the 2011, 2012 school year. I was, I was like, I was a rebel at between the ages of 20 and 21 years old. I was partying nonstop. I was hanging out with the wrong group of people. I flunked out of classes. My brain was not right, you know. I had to switch, I had to switch majors like from social science, liberal arts, general studies, culinary arts, blah, 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 blah. And I realized that my community college experience was not the right fit for me. So I, I have, well, after I got academically dismissed from TCC, I was struggling. I was struggling really hard. Let's just say from 2012 all the way till about 2018, I was really having a really dark, dark like five and a half to six years of my life, struggling to make ends meet. I was not having it. I was really not having it. And now it's 2023. I'm feeling a whole lot better. My mental health has been doing really good, but my physical health is slowly getting things a lot more better now. So, so I finally, um, 
I find I said to myself, like, you know, you had a really bad 22, 23 school year. So I think the summer 2023 semester will help you pick things back up for the for your junior for your upcoming junior year. So I will be if I pass all um if I pass all three classes with an A or I cannot make anything below an A minus. <laughs> so if I pass it with an A or probably a B or A or B or like a several really pleasing A, I think my GPA is gonna be high, a lot higher than a two point two five or better. So yeah. <laughs> So if I pass it, I will definitely consider myself as a junior, a full-fledged junior. I have a lot of stuff that is coming up this 23-24 school year. So here goes. I'm definitely going to take the VCLA reading and writing portions um, later this um, upcoming school year. Um, I'm going to be launching online courses on Kajabi. Yes, I, I'm, I'm on the beginning stages. I'm beginning baby steps on building my Kajabi website. And I'm finally going to be able to do a podcast, which is going to be either in the fall semester 2023 or probably, I think it'll be probably around 2024. So I think my predictions is that the podcast the clumsy spartan podcast is going to be launching in 2024 that's my prediction right now because i have to focus on my schoolwork and i also have to focus on my side hustle which is the online courses side hustle before i be uh, before i launch into my podcast so i think kajabi is definitely a side hustle for the beginning entrepreneurs or education op- entrepreneurs like myself so um yeah, so I'm definitely looking forward to it. And as far as baseball practices, um, actually the NFC baseball practices for the off season for the fall 2023, let's just say they're off limits. I'm not going to go there and just procrastinate on any other classes right now. So I think right now for the 23-24 school year and beyond, I'm definitely going to focus on my academics in order to get my scholarships, like, I really need my scholarships back, y'all, so, <laughs> yeah, so I'm definitely going to do that, um, for the 23, well, starting in summer 2023, because I have to get, like, a 2.25 or better, and, um, because the sophomores, you only have to get, like, a 1.8 or higher, I'm at this 1.747, which is at, definitely at a academic, like, SAP warning, and if you if you definitely like pass it with a 2.25 or better, then you're not gonna be an academic warning anymore. So that means you're getting back on track. So um, you're definitely gonna get back on track. And then I think a 2.07 is enough to. Um, I probably 2.1 is enough to um, get back into SAP normal status. So. I think my goals right now is to definitely for the 23-24 school year is to apply for the school of education for the secondary education history degree. I'm still going to be doing interdisciplinary studies as my second degree. Yes, I'm a double major. I'm getting two bachelor's degrees. One is a bachelor of bachelor of arts of history education history secondary education and the other is a bachelor of science degree in interdisciplinary studies with a liberal arts focus i probably might get like a double bachelor's i guess like a, yeah so whew. anyways that's all you guys like comment share subscribe to my channel and i'll see you guys in my next video bye guys